This is our news, the weekend edition. And on the broadcast tonight, police investigating the country's latest homicide, which left a man dead, and another shooting that's left a woman hospitalized. Plus, a former Christian Council president urges government not to tout the decrease in murder figures. And find out what's the latest with Urban Renewal. Good evening, I'm Andrew Knowles and thanks so much for joining us. Police with another murder investigations on their hands after one man was shot and killed early this morning while asleep. Police say the fatal shooting took place shortly before 2 a.m. at a home on Sister Marie Ramming Drive in Millennium Gardens. It is reported that an armed man stood outside the window and opened fire into the bedroom, hitting the victim about the body before running away. Paramedics were called to the scene. However, the man was later confirmed dead. Now, police are appealing to members of the public who may have any information that can assist with this investigation to contact the Central Detective Unit at 502-9991 or 2, Crime Stoppers at 328-TIPS or the nearest police station. Well, only a few hours earlier, police were on the scene of a shooting in Flamingo Gardens. We're told a group of women were standing outside a home when an armed man came from the rear of the house and opened fire in their direction, hitting one of the women. The gunman then fled the scene. The injured female was taken to hospital where, at last report, she was listed in stable condition. Investigations into this matter are ongoing. Well, Minister of National Security Marvin Dames bragged of a 21% decrease in murders. Bishop Simeon Hall is condemning the practice of boasting of lower crime numbers. According to Hall, he strongly urges those in authority to put an end to number calling. I do not like when the police mouth the, the statistics being down on murder. Because what it says, 33 murders for the year must be downplayed. That is still too high. And we have some warped-minded people who, when you say that, they go out and, okay, you say it's down, let me show you what we can do. That's the mentality of our young men in this country. While Hall said he agrees that police officers are due their com commendation, he believes that criminals do not respond well to bragging of low crime statistics. I'm saying, let's find a way to commend the police, but let's send a, a way to, see, uh, criminals are not impressed by positive st statistics. They don't mind what kind of statistics you say as long as there's murder we are we are we have become uh, known worldwide per capita for bad eating and killing one another how come the members of the white community do not function like we do as a black people well, tackling crime and impacting the next generation are top of list for urban renewal centers. This according to Director of Urban Renewal, Kellen Russell, who said all nine centers are very active in their respective communities. With more, here's Julian Gray. With 38 murders recorded so far this year, crime is still a major concern for residents. It's a problem that Urban Renewal Director Kellen Russell says keeps them very busy. We are almost on call all the time. Uh, so what happens is whenever there is a murder in one of the uh, urban inner cities, we would begin to liaison with the police officer. They would have the intel. So we would ask uh, of the police, please take us to uh, the, the victims of these uh, murders, etc., so that our press can be felt whatever it is that they may need and whatever services we offer we are able to assist them with whatever we can the plan is to implement community chaplains who can act as spiritual activists Russell said those ministers will not only help the victims of a tragedy but also assist with problems in schools the urban renewal director 
said that having a safe space for students is imperative to assisting families in inner city communities. There are a lot of times parents are out, parents are at work, and you don't want to leave the children unattended. So while uh, Urban Renewal does not seek to be a nursery or a daycare center, you would find out uh, at 3.30 in the afternoon until about 5.00. There is something uh, that we run that is called the after school program where we have trained teachers who uh, would come in for the GLAT, the BJC, the BGCSE, and they are actually training our children. And so it becomes like a safe haven for the children uh, after school until, our parent, uh, until their parents would arrive after five. Their hands-on approach to keeping children out of problems will extend into the summer months. Uh, we also know that children being left unattended in the summer months will cause pure idleness that could cause a lot of confusion. So for the month of July, the Urban Renewal Commission is, ha uh, is hosting its annual summer camp whereas we have the children through empowerment sessions, extracurricular, field trips, etc. So we are playing our part in trying to do what we can do to uh, join the long uh, journey in eradicating the social ills within the communities. Reporting for our News Weekend, I'm Jillian Gray. All right, thanks a lot, Jillian. Well, still to come tonight, ahead of Father's Day, an elderly home reminds the public to not forget about its residents. We'll tell you more when our news, the weekend edition returns.